Howdy folks, Ben from Snow is here today with the Austin RV2 canvas touring tent. It's a two to three person tent, probably more of a two than a three. It's a very squeezy three at ground level, but great for touring couples. Now it's quite long when it's packed. This is the bag that it comes in. It weighs in at about 20 kilos and it's about two meters long. So you, got, you are gonna need a roof rack or a trailer to transport this. But the benefits of being able to transport a long item like that or a long tent like that is it is really easy to set up. We'll talk about the fabrics. It's made from an eight ounce ripstop poly cotton canvas throughout. It's all seam sealed, it's 100% waterproof. It's a tried and tested fabric. The frame materials, including these awning poles and the internal frame are a durable aluminium. The mesh components, the windows, there's one at the rear to, on each side. We've got vents at the top here and a door. That's all no seam mesh. And then on the bottom here on the floor, it's a heat welded PVC tub floor for tons of durability. And while I'm standing under it, I'll talk about the awning here. This is permanently attached to the tent. You can't remove it. You can leave it folded up and use the tent without this setup. But otherwise, these poles are 1.9 meters, so it gives you standing room underneath here. Um, it's two meters by two meters of space, and you can actually get accessories to fully enclose this if you like, including a floor. Um, the peak side panels are very popular, which create an actual peak here, and it's a, a livable room on the, on the front of your uh, RV2 here. As I move around the tent, I'll show you the features to the rear. First thing we see is a little pocket here, which stores a guy rope, which we should always set up when we've got it set up for long periods. But that tucks away in a nice little storage pocket there when not in use. Below that is our mesh window. We can see mesh from the outside. There's an internally adjustable storm flap on these windows, so you can adjust it without having to get out the tent. As we move further to the rear, we can see uh, two more storage pockets on each corner here uh, for another, another guy rope. So there's four guy ropes in total attached to the main tent. And then down below that is a full width, or almost full width mesh window here with a storm flap that can be closed up if you uh, need to trap the warmth in or keep the weather out. So if we undo these toggles here, roll it closed, we can actually zip it shut and that's nice and weatherproof. Alternatively, it has three guy ropes and a little stiffener bar in here. So you can actually peg this out to allow ventilation and still keep the water out. This first of the features on the outside, I will mention one other thing. Just at the top here, there's a flap with a zip attached to it. You might be wondering what that's for. It's for attachment of accessories like flies. Uh, we'll show you that in another video, how all those work. Come around the front here, I wanna show you what's inside the tent. But before I jump in, I'll just show you down in this corner here. A little power cord access, it indicates with the tag there. There's a zipper underneath this flap here so you can get uh, a cord into the tent. So the doors I've walked through here are double doors. There is a mesh panel here with a zip down the middle and two along the bottom and a solid panel on the outside here. So we can use them independently. In the solid panel door, there is also a, a mesh vent. You can see it's open on this side. They're really important for uh, ventilation. Being a single skin tent on a cold night, if you're warm inside, it's prone to condensation inside. Having vents like this reduces the instance of that happening. As we come down to the bottom of the tent here, on the PVC bucket floor, you can see the sides come right up about 10, 15 centimeters from the base. We've got a big mesh window at the rear here with that externally adjustable storm flap. So on each side here, there is an internally adjustable window. So these flaps can be open and closed from the inside and I can roll them up and out the way there. Um, now we've also, you can see the internal frame here, the al aluminium frame on the inside. Now there aren't any air lantern and hooks inside here. I guess you could probably hang something from the rear bar here if you wanted, but there aren't any readily available hooks to hang a lantern onto. And the last thing I mentioned is a couple of storage options here, little um, canvas pockets, one on each side there, just to keep your uh, ex or essentials at hand at night. Now in terms of space inside the RV2, it's two meters by two meters exactly. So you could fit three people either way uh, at ground level, in terms of fitting a stretcher in here, which is a common question, I've actually got an Austin King Goanna stretcher with me that I'm gonna bring in for you now, but you will struggle to fit two stretchers in here. I'll go and grab it and show you. Now, this stretcher clearly doesn't fit. It looks a bit silly at the moment, but I've left it here for your reference. Now, the King Goanna is 210 in length. It's about 80 wide here, but the poles at the ends are actually about 92 centimeters. This way being two meters width with the tent, by the time you take into account the frame, you've only got about 180 to 185 centimeters in width this way. So you're gonna to have to find a pretty short stretcher to fit this way. And you're still gonna to struggle to fit two side by side. And even if you do, you're not gonna have any standing space. In terms of fitting two lengthways like this, you've got about 170 centimeters from this point here to where a stretcher, which this one being 48 centimeters high, touches the back wall. So you are struggling to fit 
any more than one stretcher in, or even a decent size stretcher in the RV2. Probably best just for ground level sleeping arrangements. Now you can pick uh, the RV2 up off our website, snowies.com.au at lowest prices every day with free delivery to just about anywhere in Australia. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.